In this video, we make an evening takeoff out of Priory Farm. Ross has his first experience of Nayland on a very, very windy day. And John and I fly to Ruffham to meet up with Nick from Let's Go Flying. Wind is a little bit tricky. Wow. Because what happens is you get a curl over on the trees. Yes. Hello and well, welcome. Welcome to Ruffham. Yeah, that's it. My name is Tim Palmer and I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of a farm strip in East Anglia. Welcome back to the vlog and a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate your support. I'm not a qualified flying instructor, nor do I claim to be a very good pilot. I fly for fun and basically record for my own interest and review. I like sharing my flying experiences, good and bad, and try to edit for enjoyment and storytelling. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do leave me a comment as it makes it all worthwhile. Having flown into Hindclay, John and I decided to go on to Parry Farm to see Bob. John had lined up in the RV4 behind me. great afternoons flying and a magical evening flight home. It was one of those nights when the air was still and it was just like being on rails. You can see from the two cameras that I should have taken the ND filter off the forward facing camera. That filter I used to reduce the prop blur but because it's a dark filter it's actually made everything look much darker than it actually was.
the course, it looks like a nice flat strip, doesn't it? It does, yes. Come on, round you come. I'm going to forget about the other bit at the other end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in safe hands. I've seen you do this many times. Yeah, lots of times, yeah. <laughs> I am going to just give it a little bit of a burst. OK, if you want me to hold on to that, I will. Yeah, I think I'm all right at okay, the moment. Yep, so Literally, just give it a couple of seconds. Yeah. OK. You happy? Yes. Nayland traffic, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel rolling, Nayland traffic. And I've got a set of trees I'm aiming for yes. in the distance. Yeah, I remember that. Remember the trees. Wind is a little bit tricky. Wow. Because what happens is you get a curl over on the trees. Yes. We get something similar at Earl's Cone, but not to that extent. You probably heard me say that when you run down the top of the ridge, it gets very, very rough. Yes. So as I say, you have to take off from the front tank. I can see why. <laughs> yeah. But what I will do is in a little while, yeah, you'll swap while over. it's still while it's still pumping. Yeah. I'll swap it over. Yeah. She's quite interesting. You may have seen me say it before. When you capture an airspeed, you can either capture 80 or you can capture 90. Yeah. But to capture 90, you have to push through. Yeah. Okay, going down too much this time. It's a very bumpy day. Yeah. So it's not actually performing the way that she would normally do. But as I say, you can fly it quite happily at 80, yeah. but usually you can also push her forward in order to give you a, a 90 cruise. Sure. Some people ask why I fly two-handed. Um, I don't always realise I do. No. But sometimes it's just comfortable yes, yes. to do that. Although you will notice that the throttle has a tendency to creep on. Yeah, so the, the, the throttle friction nut isn't really working very well. No, 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 we used to have the same thing with the Vagabond. Yeah. Have you got to go back via the Toys R Us roundabout? Uh, yes. I know. I know, and well, that's Friday's for you. And she's at the hospital, you see, and at 4.30. Yeah. But I'm supposed to pick her up. I think that's my house down there, actually. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's where I did all my training at Ipswich. Uh, right, yeah. Well, my father, when he was flying the Condor, uh, that was one of his landaways on his cross-country uh, qualifier. OK. No radio and a Army FSU compass. And <laughs> yeah. Might do a little bit of a... I am going to turn this off for a minute. OK. So who is this bloke you're going to meet? Well, not even 100% sure he's going to get there, but it was um, somebody who's just started a channel. He started a channel just before lockdown. Right. And he's got, he's bought himself a C42, and he's done quite a lot of flying in it since he's, he's had it. He's only had it a couple of months, but he sent me a map this morning saying he was going to do all of the north coast. All right. Uh, uh, sorry, north, north Norfolk. Um, I don't know whether he started at Fenland or whether his Fenland was going to be his first fuel stop, but he said he's meeting somebody here at four, and that's where he'll end today. Leave tomorrow. 
Uh. And I just said, well, you know, if I'm about and I can make it, I'll, uh, I'll come across. But yeah, he's got, he's got a very good channel. It's called Let's Go Flying. sure that we are sort of lined up. Well, I can <laughs> see the bloody runway, but that's, that's made it look like we've overshot by miles and we haven't actually gone that side of the runway at any point. Yeah. Strange. It's Golf Echo Hotel, final. Scott, you coming in on the cross. Interesting pile of um, ballast or something there. Yeah, I wonder why. going across there at the moment. Very nicely done, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Trying to help. Yeah. He's already got it there. Ooh, uh. that, that's, that's the taxiway. Yeah. They haven't got the runway down. Rather straight.
It must be nice, mustn't it, when you get a group like that flying yeah, around? Yeah. Can you imagine the sort of camaraderie and that? You know, it's all... Uh, it's... Because um, I think they're all going down to Sandale, by yeah. the way, tomorrow. All right. And well, welcome, welcome to Ruffham. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Yep. Brakes off. Brakes are off. We checked the air brake, didn't we? That yeah, did. up and locked. Nothing on approach, not that I can see. So did you actually get to talk to yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, briefly. about the heat all during the summer but actually I'm quite pleased that it's warm. Yeah. The workmanship on that kit pops um, was exceptional. Good. Yeah. It, it was really really lovely and they really got to town. Every single nut bowl yeah. had a, a, a cover over it, a little cover oh, right. over it. Yeah. Um, a lovely paint job. It was really really nice. So how long has he made that one for? Uh, no idea. Right. That does look like a bit of rain, doesn't it? Yeah, or, it's or down to the deck over there. Yeah. All the way to the ground, ground there. It's coming in behind us. But we'll beat it. We're well, well away from it. Uh, it's quite clear around the coast. Yeah. Yeah. I'll save the rest of the return flight for another video. But I do have a bonus Tech Tuesday special on my Rosetta setup. And that's next week at 7.30 in the morning. Thanks for watching to the end. Please like, comment and share. And of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help. Thank you.